Hello everybody, this is Barry Johns, and this is a studio talk quick tip where I hope to be able to do this in five minutes or less, okay? I've often wanted to get a larger monitor for um, for my uh, DAW sessions. I wanted to be able to get more real estate in the footprint. I've also, and so one of the ways that I wanted to be able to do that was upgrade to a 4K monitor. I'd been using a 39 inch wide screen, ultra wide screen 1080p monitor that quite frankly does a really good job, but things have gotten to where things are so much on the screen, it was kind of, you know, I, I couldn't get as much real estate on that screen at the same time as I'd wanted. So once I'd gotten my new MacBook Pro, M1, M1 Pro MacBook Pro, and then of course I pulled it up on there and I, I looked at the same session in 4K to see what I could do there and be able to and have the resolution options that I didn't have available to me and I quickly realized, hey, it's time for a new monitor. Also, you know, if you're over 40 and you're start, your eyes are starting to go a little bit, or if you're pushing that, it's going to happen to you. There's no getting away from it. At least right now, there's not. Um, you need, you know, you need a better option because I don't want a monitor right up in front of me. Okay, so I decided. To so when I was looking at it, I kept looking at all kinds of 4K monitors, and I thought that was my solution. But I was such, I was used to such a large monitor. To go back down, because most affordable 4K monitors, you know, three, four hundred bucks for just kind of minimum for most at the time. And 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 so uh, that screen wasn't big enough for me to be able to get the real estate I wanted, at least in a dedicated monitor, it was gonna cost me to have to spend a whole lot more money. And so Anyway, I saw saw the Samsung, I think it's an S8 or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put a link to it here in the video and the name will pop up there somewhere uh, as far as which one it is. But I took I, I took the risk and I ordered one, you know. A lot of times with monitors, if you're not ordering from Amazon or something like that, the return policy can be iffy. I know Samsung's got an iffy return policy. If you're going to order for them or Dell, for God's sakes, make sure that you know you're going to keep it. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay a restocking fee as well as pay the shipping back. Okay, so keep that in mind. So anyway, they had one and it was it was a really good deal. I assume a closeout. They're probably going to make an upgraded uh, version of it. Uh, so anyway, I was able to pick up a 43-inch widescreen computer monitor slash TV, 4K TV. Okay, so this has more than any 4K TV monitor for the most part can connect to your 4K, you know, system and stream content and everything just fine. Um, but this one has some special things, and I'll show you here in just a second. Um, so I decided to do that. So let's take a look at the real estate that I'm getting now out of this thing. Let's talk about the views. I've got one camera back over there that's kind of giving you a widescreen back look because there's some things I'm going to switch over to here uh, soon that I can't screen capture because they're technically not coming from the computer, but I will talk about that here real quick. All right, so let's just look at some of the real estate that I'm able to get. So I'm going to pull up new window here, and I want you to look at all of that real estate that I can now get uh, on my screen all at one time. You know, that is certainly a lot. I can kick that up and down however I want and go back and forth and and I can really get a lot of real estate, you know, on the screen at the same time. Uh, and I can even get more than that. So let's talk about that. Let me go over here to my, um, my system preferences. Now here I'm doing this on a Mac, but you do the same thing wherever you do it on Windows. Uh, let's find display, display right here. Let's go into display and let's go to display settings. And here I can, if I want to make it even smaller and get more, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way, even smaller and get more real estate. Now let's pull new window back up. Now look what I'm getting on my screen. Now, keep in mind, you can do this same thing with any 4K monitor, you know, but you're not going to get this full widescreen, full on, 43 inches of goodness on there at the same time. And you can see there, that is a lot of real estate uh, coming in. Um, you know, uh, so this is something kind of you want to really think about. You can see kind of what's going on there uh, and what's happening. And so I think that that's pretty darn cool that you can get that much real estate. If I want to get even more, I can do that. Um, simply going back to system preferences, and this is probably going to get way too small, but here we can do that and even get more. So depending on where you are, this is how much real estate. And when you look at the other monitor and you get some scale to this, 
it's pretty doggone impressive if you think about it. You know, what can be done there. Oh, let's bring that back down. Da, 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 da. Went too far with that. Bring that back down and leaves out a little bit and make this so so that you'd see what that would look like having all of that on the screen at one time. So that's a lot of real estate. So if you're curious, if you can use this size monitor in your studio, I'm here to tell you that yes, you can. So let's quickly take a look at some other things that this monitor can do beyond being a TV. I'm gonna hit, I've got a handy dandy remote here that I can go to my home screen. And now I'm back to the internal menu, what you're kind of familiar with seeing on any smart TV. And that's basically what I have here is a full blown smart TV. So if I wanna go over and I wanna to go to YouTube as an example, I can pop up YouTube over here and it's going to pop up. Oh, it's on a uh, video that um, someone else did. I didn't do that one, but I did do a review of that one just for the record. Okay, so let's go back home. And of course, when it's time to go to the PC, I just click back over there and it's going to take me back to my Mac. So anyway, so I hope you find this helpful knowing that you can do this and, uh, and I recommend it for DAW work. Now, even though it's the 4K monitor, right? I also do video editing, blah, duh, I mean, come on, I got this YouTube channel here. I do do video editing on it and, and I'll keep my edit screen and everything up on that one, but I will pull my MBook Pro or my Mac M1 MacBook Pro, M1 Pro MacBook Pro, I will pull that in uh, and use that monitor to look for uh, color grading and things like that because this is bright for that purpose, okay? The, these recommendations are specific about your DAW because I wish the colors were bolder. I wish it wasn't as bright. I wish it was deeper. But hey, what do you expect? A little over 300 bucks for a 43-inch monitor that can also work as a smart TV in my studio when somebody else, when I just want to relax in here and chill out and watch some TV, I can do that too. And you can too if you do this. It gives you the full-on experience of experiencing that because the screen is so big. Again, all the features here come on every 4K, 4K monitor out there. However, the real estate is harder to find in that price range. So there you go. There it is. That's a quick tip. And I know I didn't come close to staying under five minutes, but I hope it helps anyway. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.